came to London two years ago to study theatre. It surprises a lot, so it just teaches you that you have to open your eyes wide and be just ready to accept whatever comes. It's the richness of culture in Poland that adds up to creating this one nation. Poles abroad tend to feel that they are ambassadors for, for, for their country. He said, you're coming to Poland whether you like it or not, dragged me to Poland. And from that moment on, I have felt deeply Polish. I mean, I don't know how Polish I feel. I mean, I feel, well, I don't know how Jewish I feel. I don't know how English I feel. Romantically, I would say that my soul is Polish. And my emotions are definitely not English. You have absolute freedom in England politically, and you also have the freedom to starve. It's taken three generations for the actual, for the, I suppose, the heritage, heritage to kind of creep back in. I'm a hybrid. <laughs> That used to be a problem, but it isn't anymore. It's a great strength, I think. The solidarity period was, of course, tremendously important to Poland, but it was also very important in my life because it made me sort of aware of my Polish roots. London changed a lot in me. I think I became more spontaneous. Things which you cannot literally translate into English. You cannot convey the same, quite the same message. I stay because I married a British person. My children are half British. It's this culture of tolerance and art of living alongside each other and compromise. And that sets the tone for London and the parameters in which, in which you know, all this variety can thrive and survive.